I, I think the message was to remind ourselves of the unit that we are and that we uh, kind of built up through preseason and how we have to be together to handle the adversity of the entire year and particularly the first game. And that's a big transition from how you're playing in preseason games and, and when the real game starts and real challenges happen and real adversity uh, is presented to you. I just felt like we were still getting our feet wet um, and in terms of getting to the flow of the game and I think that goal uh, you know for both teams kind of was a, a nice shock uh, for us and for them maybe it was a you know it was a shock because it was uh, not out of nothing but it was certainly something where we kind of got some good guys in good space and uh, you know a good ball in and then just a great finish and um, I think we have that kind of quality players on our team and I was very excited for Christian and I think one of the nice things about it is, you know, they kind of had we were playing a deep line, and, you know, and, and Maddie served in the ball where we got numbers up the field, uh, and by the time they let it bounce, you know, I think we smelled blood, you know, the rat reason that the ball bounced, and then we got good numbers, and it was really important that Jamie challenged for the ball, and I think that put stress in their back line. Uh, I think Pitch saw Jamie challenging, and he won the second ball, as you call it. You know, it was nice to see him play a nice one touch, and, and Christian really read the play early. He saw the danger, and he really got on the last defender and created a one v one situation. Um, and I think that's what good goal scorers do. You know, they, they see potential, a situation that might be dangerous, and uh, you know, it was a, a nice pass by pitch, but an even better set up by Christian to really find his guy and, and turn and roll him. Um, and, and he hit the ball at the perfect point. You know, he really hit it. Uh, most people think they're gonna let it drop further and then hit it, and I think that's what the goalie and defender thought, but he really spun him and hit it at a, a unique high point, which uh, you know, didn't give the goalie a chance. We subbed Miguel in in the mid 60th minute, um, and that was to provide some energy and give us a little bit more both possession, but now that ability to counterattack. And it took a little bit for him to get in the game, but that was a moment where he found a very good pocket. Uh, and when you see he turns to look forward, JD feeling that he still has a lot of good energy, you know, really makes a really hard, aggressive run that I, I think puts them on their heels. And, and with the pace of Miguel's ball, I thought was almost perfect. Um, I mean, I, I would argue it was perfect. The referee argues that it wasn't, so that's that's his call. But it, it's one of those calls where I think if it was 0-0, I think we definitely would have given the goal and the referee would as well, but maybe at 2-0 late in the game, uh, it's a way for him to walk off the field maybe with less pressure from the fans. As a coach, I look at that play, I was very pleased with, you know, with the energy that JD showed and I was very pleased that Miguel like, you know, turned and looked forward and really put pressure and, and drove forward in a way that, uh, like I said, you know, towards the end of the game, even though we're up with two goals, it's an important time to attack different spaces in the field, to, to really finish plays off the right way and to remind them that you know they can't throw 10 guys forward to try to get back two goals. You know they worked really hard, we worked really hard in our back four all preseason and you know for them to come out and have a game on the road, get a clean sheet and a win, I think it's a credit to the work that the guys and specifically our, our defenders have done in preseason. It's just a sharpness you have in reacting to uh, you know the recovery runs about how you are dealing with now. Um, you know, it might be a little bit out of position, and guys have to filter over for another guy. And you know, sometimes the guy will close, and then the guy has to tuck in behind. Um, like I said, a few times uh, they got frustrated and tried to play over the bat, up, over the top of us. And, and certainly, our, our center backs are get pushed up a little bit. Our outside backs tuck in and make sure we're dealing with those balls. So. I thought we just did a good job with our shape in terms of making sure that the outside backs were tucked in properly at the right time. And then uh, our center backs, you know, they worked really hard well together against uh, Zahorski and Hosley. I just was pleased with our shape and you know, how we kind of played out of the back. And then we did turn the ball over more than I would like to in certain parts of the field, but it, it never led to any really dangerous counterattack. So I was just pleased with how we uh, recovered uh, at times when I thought we should have had better possession. And I just thought they were, they were you know, I use these words calm and steady. Uh, and, and I felt that way the whole game with them. I felt like they were in control when things looked like maybe a little bit out of shape. But uh, it, was, it was nice to see. Mm -hmm.